Divas. So in today's video, I'm here to share with you guys this fabulous unit that I am rocking right now. So if you guys are interested, then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, Divas. So before we jump right into the video, I did want to let you guys know that this video is being brought to you guys by EbonyLine.com. So thank you so much, EbonyLine.com, for allowing me to share this fabulous unit with my fabulous Divas. But yeah, if you guys are interested in the details and the specs, on this gorgeous hair then go ahead and stay tuned okay diva so let's jump right in today we have a unit by sensational this is from their custom lace impress line and i have it in the style body wave and i have it in the color number 1b this unit also features a six inch part so here is how the hair looks it does have a very light yakky texture but the hair is really really soft and I love the wave pattern on this hair. So here is the cap. The cap is average head friendly. So if you have a large or small head, you can wear it. I have a larger head just in case you wanted to use that for reference. Here is the cap construction. The rest of the cap construction, excuse me, it does come with your two combs in the front as well as the comb in the back with the adjustable straps. As you guys seen, it does not feature a lace all the way across, but it does have the little lace parting area. This unit also features a parting space that is six inches as well as baby hairs as you guys can see. Okay, Diva, so now we're going to go ahead and put the unit onto my head, and it does not look bad, but this unit is going to need some work. As you can see, that part is very dense, so and we are going to have to do something with those baby hairs, but for now, I'm going to show you guys the length. So on me, it falls at about 18 to 20 inches, and I am 5'2", just in case you want that for reference. Now, as far as shedding and tangling, I did experience a little bit of shedding and a little bit of tangling, nothing that is too alarming as you guys can see but um i did experience a little bit of shedding and tangling and now i'm just gonna brush out the curls because i wanted the hair to be more voluminous so i'm just gonna go in and do that and i love how it looked after i brushed out the curls it looks really really good in my personal opinion um you don't have to brush out the curls i just like voluminous glamorous hair so next I'm going to go in and add powder to the parting space and then I'm going to make the baby hairs work for me. I didn't go in and do like the full potential of what they could have looked like because I didn't cut them like too much or thin them out or anything but I did make the unit work for me but overall I think this unit is really pretty and I would definitely recommend it because it's super glamorous and it does take work but I think it's totally worth it because it's also a good price so I definitely think it's worth the buy, so I would definitely recommend it. Okay, Divas, so now that you guys have gotten all the details and the specs on this unit, I am here to tell you guys how I feel about it. So first of all, I do want to say that this unit is absolutely gorgeous. I really do love... Um, the texture and the pattern of this wave like it's really really pretty um i did go ahead and brush out the curls if you guys don't know i love like more voluminous glamorous type of wave sometimes i like them uniform but most of the time i like it to be more voluminous so that's why i went in and brushed it out but if you want it to be something that's a little bit more uniform don't do that because then you're gonna get like big hair like this which is really gorgeous to me i feel like it has like that voluminous type of wave and I like that but anywho um let's go ahead and do like an overview so I can tell you guys how I feel about it so as far as the cap construction um I didn't really care for the way the cap construction is just because of the simple fact that there's only lace in this area um that could be a good thing um especially if you don't like cutting lace that much that is the good thing about it because I didn't have to cut it all around but I do feel a lot better when the unit has lace um from ear to ear tab even if it's not like that much lace I just feel better I feel like I can have more to work with um and it's nothing that's like too bulky or anything but I just I don't know I just would have rather it have lace so um that was kind of a con for me another thing that was a con was the baby hairs is a little bit too thick for me um I didn't go in and thin them out too much I just kind of made do and laid them down because I'm not going anywhere you know like I'm not going anywhere because it's already evening time so I'm not going anywhere so I just went in and laid them down the best that I could but the baby hairs are thick so I 
would recommend when you get this unit to make sure that you go ahead and thin them out um i would just use uh what i used um where is it i would just use this to go ahead and thin it out um it's definitely easy to use this and thin it out or just kind of like tuck some of them away and only use a little bit and just trim them up and they will look good because it's not that they look horrible and i actually like that they're kind of like pre gel like they don't they're not hard or anything but they do like stay in place so that is one good thing so i mean i do like the baby hairs but i didn't care for like how thick they were because if you're a beginner and you get this unit and you don't know how to like thin them out then you know that would be kind of a problem so what i do like about this hair is the parting space and how far back it goes it does go back pretty far now the parting space is really thin I don't know if you guys can tell on camera or if the powder make it look a little bit thin um, thicker I don't care for how thin it is but once you add in your powder you know it looks good but at the same time if you're a person that don't like adding powder then this will probably not be a good move for you just because you will have to add your powder just so they can show but I really do like the parting area um once you add the powder in there I feel like it looks really good and I like the fact that it goes far back because I just feel like that makes the unit look a lot more natural so I did like that so I also love the body wave curls in this hair i really really love the texture the texture is nice i actually really love the length as well i feel like it's not too long and it's not too short um it falls on me at about 18 to 20 inches and i am 5'2 so i really do like the length and i really do love the texture like i said before i feel like it looks like very natural and i love when i brush it out it does give me that voluminous look and yeah i just overall really do love the style of the unit so would I recommend this unit? I would definitely recommend this unit um, if you do not mind putting in work because you will have to put in work to make this unit work. Um, making, you know, as far as like the baby hairs and adding powder to the part. Um, if you are a diva that does not like to put in that work, then no, I would not recommend it for you. But if you don't mind putting in the work, you're going to look gorgeous in the end. I think it looks absolutely fabulous. So it just depends on you. But I would recommend it because I think she's cute. But yeah, divas, that is pretty much it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and found it very helpful and easy to follow. If you fabulously was it, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I would love to know what you fabulously was think. And be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also hit the notification bell. I do upload quite often, so you definitely do not want to miss any of my videos. But yeah, divas, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you gorgeous divas in my next video. Bye.